Hi guys and welcome back to my channel for Vlogmas Day 8. My name is Franny and today I will be sharing with you all the 2021 new releases that I'm highly anticipating and that I cannot wait for them to be out. There are so many, so many books coming out in 2020 that I absolutely want to read. So I think that at the beginning of every month I will do a separate books that are coming out this month kind of video because there are way too many and I wouldn't be able to cover all of them in just one video because it would last for three hours and nobody wants that. So I decided to choose just a few I think they're like seven, eight or something like that. Just a few that I have to mention right away because these are the ones that I'll be reading on the day that they come out because I will. That's mandatory. The first one that I cannot wait to read is This Close to Okay by Lisa Cross Smith. This is about a therapist who on her way home from work sees a man who's about to jump off of a bridge. So she goes, she stops him and she invites him over to her house and over the course of the weekend she will try to make him feel in a safe space so that she can help him without telling him that she's a therapist. So this book is going to deal with mental health and the main protagonist, the woman, I think is black, so there's going to be diverse representation and I'm honestly so excited to read this book. I think it's going to be really good and sweet, but bittersweet and very intense and emotional. Next is A Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth and I don't know much about this. I know that it is urban fantasy. I know that it's City of Bones meets LGBT goodness, so I don't want to know much else about it because you know me and fantasies. Reading fantasy synopsis is just a waste of time. I want to go in blindly. I've heard good things about it. It has four queer teens as protagonists and I honestly cannot wait to read it. And it's the first book in a series. I think I didn't say it, but this is coming out on February 23rd. Then on March 2nd, we have Bridge of Souls by B.E. Schwab. This is the third book. I think the third and final book in the Cassidy Blake series. I listened to the audiobooks of the first two and I really, really enjoyed them, which is weird because they're middle grade and I usually don't go for middle grade, but they were really, really good. I think I'll be reading it in October instead of March. I think I'll listen to the audiobook as I've done for the previous years, but still, I can't wait for it to be released. Then on April 6th, I have Broken by Jenny Lawson, broken in the best possible way. I love Jenny Lawson. I've listened to all her audiobooks. She is incredible. Her humor is unique. Her memoirs always deal with anxiety, social issues, mental health, and they do it in a way that touches your heart, but at the same time, it's so ridiculously funny. So I just, the fact that she's coming out with a new memoir makes me just so, so excited for the month of April. Still in April, but on the 13th comes out The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. Lynette Noni is an Australian author that is so criminally underrated. Her YA book series are just so good. I read her Akarni series. I wanted to read Whisper as well, but I still have to do that. But she has a new book coming out. And if she has a new book coming out, I'm going to read it because her writing is just so smooth and funny and quirky. And I really like it. And I can't wait to read it. On May 13th, we have... Heartstopper Volume 4 by Alice Osman. Do I need to say anything? Just let me say something. This is the fourth volume in a graphic novel series that is just so queer and gay and cute and adorable and sweet and everyone in the whole world needs to read this graphic novel series because it's just so adorbs. I love Nick and Charlie. I can't wait for the fourth volume to come out. I'm just... I'm, I'm, Excited. Okay, May needs to come today. Okay, I need tomorrow to be May. We can skip Christmas. I need tomorrow to be May. Also in May, on May 6th, and I should have said this earlier, but the show must go on, so, you know, live, we're going to May 6th, and the book coming out on that day is 
One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. I've already talked about this book in a previous uh, Vlogmas video. I don't know much about it because I don't want to, because I know that it's Casey McQuiston and that's all I need to know in order for me to love it. It's going to be a sapphic love story and she writes, uh, let's say, new adult that isn't too explicit like other new adult books. It's kind of fade to black kind of thing, but at the same time, it has some steamy content and she is just so funny and her stories and characters are so relatable. I think that this one has a little bit of magical realism in it, which I don't mind as long as it is a wonderful, sweet, sapphic love story because that's what I need in my life. And the last book that I have to mention in this video is An Emotion of Great Delight by Tahara Mafi. I know that this is a YA contemporary book that takes place in 2003 and it focuses on the political tensions between America, the United States and Iraq. I don't need to know anything else. I love, love, love Tahara Mafi's writing style. I loved the Shatter Me trilogy when it was still a trilogy, then she kept going and that's when she ruined it and that's when I stopped reading it but just because I didn't like where the story was going not because I didn't like her writing style I read and loved A Very Large Expanse of Sea because again her writing style is just so beautiful and poetic and it just fills you with feelings and emotions so a book that is literally called An Emotion of Great Delight is bound to be emotional and good and great and I, I, I can't wait for it to come out on June 1st. And this was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please let me know in the comments down below if you want to read any of the books that I've mentioned in this video or if there are some 2021 new releases that you're highly anticipating and that you want to share with me. I would absolutely love that. Please like, subscribe, share. Any of these things will be very much appreciated. And I'll see you tomorrow with another Vlogmas video that will be the anti-TBR book tag. Stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, warm hugs!